It's day six and we're at Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs. So this plaque says the Garden of the Gods given to the city of Colorado Springs in 1909 by the children of Charles Elliot Perkins in fulfillment of his wish that it be kept forever free to the public. Oh. So I wonder if they owned this land before or what the deal is. Very cool. What do you think so far? But yeah, this is awesome. If you're coming here, you have to check this out. So you said that these are all sandstone? Yeah. Yeah? It reminds me of arches. Yeah. It does. It's really cool. It's nice because it's very accessible. Yeah. All paved sidewalks. It's free. Dog friendly. Free. Family friendly. Oh Handicap yeah. Handicap friendly. Everything friendly. Yeah, this is really nice. This place is cool, it just keeps getting like cooler and now we can like hike through the uh, rocks. There's a lot of uh, rock climbing here. I haven't seen, seen anybody climbing, but I see a lot of signs that say like uh, permit required, rock climbing, all this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Reminds me of what was the hike in Arches called? Devil's Garden? Oh yeah, Devil's Garden. Yeah. And this is called um, Garden of Gods? Oh. That's weird. They're like really similar. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's funny because everything in like Arizona and Utah is like devil. But yeah. here it's gone. Devil's Bridge, Devil's Garden. And here, Devil's Kitchen. Devil's Kitchen. Where's that one? That's a stone. Oh, okay. Here and then here in uh, Zion, everything's God. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have like the Abraham, Jacob, Isaac um, towers, and then here, God's guard, the garden of God. I like the God stuff, not so much the devil. <laughs> I don't care. We haven't really done that much trails. I know, but that's why this one's the best. All we, the only hiking we did was... Great sand dunes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was... That was tough. That was horrible. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are y'all? What's up, buddy? Mm -hmm. Also, it's cool because like every new spot, you like turn around, it's a completely different view. And then over here somewhere... Oh, here, Pikes Peak. I don't know if we're going to go up to Pikes Peak, but... That's uh, one of the biggest ones in Colorado. You don't want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just don't think we're going to have the time. Not that we don't have the time, but there's other things I'd rather do. Seven Falls and maybe the Wind Caves. Yeah. Yeah. We are now off the paved trail on the Scotsman Trail. And it's definitely a, uh, a lot less crowded. I think we've seen like one person. But uh, we're going to do, there's like a four mile loop you can do. I don't think we're going to do it all. We're going to cut this over. Is this a four mile loop? No, like the whole thing that we did. Oh, okay. But this loop is maybe like three. I don't know. It's pretty long. But we're just going to go until we want to cross over. You can pretty much cross over at any time or just turn around because all like the big rocks are behind us. So we're just going to check out this area. Yeah, this is like the unpaved area with good views of like Pikes the mountains Peak. and Pikes Peak, which is cool. But... I like the other area with the rock formations. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do after this? Well, I think we're going to go to uh, some caves. 
<laughs> Is that accent again? You said Durango's your favorite so far? Oh, yeah. Is this number I mean, two? The other places that we've been going to have been like pretty quick, so we haven't had as much time to explore. Um, but yeah, I really like Durango. Pagosa Springs was really cute and fun too. I liked that. Yeah. Uh, I think I need to see a little bit more of Colorado Springs. Yeah, this is like the first thing that we're doing, so. Mm -hmm. We'll see at the end of the day if this beats Durango or not, in your opinion. I don't think it is. I don't <laughs> no? know. I, I liked the, it so uh, much there. We didn't really do any hiking there. No. Um, this is definitely a really cool area. They didn't have anything like this in Durango, but um, Durango also had a river going through the town, which kind of seemed to be like the heartbeat of the city. Heartbeat of the city. It's like everybody's on the water. Yeah, everybody's doing water sports. In the summer, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is called Colorado Springs, so there must be some water here somewhere, right? Got my climbing trip. in for the trip, yep. Now I can just relax. because they're the ones that live on the floor. So water drips down from the stalactite, makes the stalactite longer, drips onto the stalagmite, makes the stalagmite taller, and eventually these will touch and you'll get one of these. This is a column uh, where stalactite and stalagmite met in the middle, they fuse together, and now when the water goes across them, they become a larger and larger column. Half feet long, took about 102,000 years to get that long. We call this the longest stalactite in the entire cave. It doesn't need a fancy name, it's just awesome. Oak treeoids are essentially fossilized air bubbles. Fascinating things. But we also just call this cave popcorn. Take a look around. There's a lot up here. I'm only going to be covering a few uh, specific features. So don't wait for me. Start looking around, see what you can see. Yeah, look. The first section is a Silver Strauss Black Bag Nursery. Uh, notice, uh, you'll notice that some of those tiny little uh, spiral conical shell right here. So this is the kind of shell that would normally get smashed down and turned into all of this limestone around it. But this one got preserved uh, through fossils. Seating in his favorite opera house. Who's a big opera fan? and a big cave fan as well. Uh, but he made his money as a journalist. That is, he did. Until he came up into this room, he took a look around at all of this splendor, and he was so awestruck that he could only think of two words. Ka-ching. So we left Colorado Springs and decided to make our way up to Denver a little bit early to come and check out the Red Rocks and the Red Rock Amphitheater. So we're on the Red Rock Trail right now, which is pretty cool. Pretty and cool. pretty, pretty cool. And I guess What's there's- another word for cool? Awesome, pretty awesome. Um, but there's Incredible. a concert. There's a concert that's gonna start in like two hours. So uh, there's people rolling in here. It's probably gonna get busy, but we're just doing this 1.5 mile loop. Uh, what is it called? Do you remember? The Trade Post Loop? Trading Post. Trading Post Loop. It's like the only uh, hike here, I think. At least next to the amphitheater. But after this, hopefully we can go and get a view of the amphitheater. I don't exactly know how we're going to do that, but 
just try to go see it from up top or something, take a picture. But this area is uh, really <laughs> awesome. So after this, we're gonna go to downtown Denver and do what? Go to a Rockies game, yep. Rockies and Red Sox. And there's even a prize at the end. So get your phone out, scan this QR 